fair the day after. Heck, they're probably having meetings already. They probably are. In the middle of all this stuff. Yeah. But when you think Indiana State Fair, mm -hmm. what word comes to mind? Airbrush. <laughs> Guys, check this out. I knew you were going to go fashion on me. I was thinking <laughs> something else, but we'll start with now, that. Come on. We all know one of the things you have to buy when you go to the fair is a airbrush t-shirt. an airbrush t-shirt. So I got this indie style airbrush t-shirt from a Maestro uh, airbrush right out there. So they made it for me. You didn't get like Yosemite Sam or... What are you talking Keep about? Keep on trucking or something oh, like no, that. Oh, no, we got this. All right. I'm gonna, but I forgot to get our names put on it, okay. so I got to do that later. I'll give you airbrush, but I was thinking of a four-letter F word. Oh, food. 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 Yes. Well, of course, there's that. And I had Friday, as I mentioned, I kind of explored, well, the finest food that uh, they have to offer here. Let's take do you want to see? I don't know. Do yes, I? Yes, you do. There are about a million reasons to come out to the state fair. Now, one of them that's near and dear to my heart is the food, and of course, the fried food. Something new this year that you're definitely going to want to try is the fried ice cream. Come on, let's take a look. I'm going to show you how it's made. Some Baskin Robin ice cream. It's a vanilla ice cream rolled in crushed cornflakes, oats, honey, and cinnamon, and then froze to about 20 below zero. And then we deep fry it for about 10 seconds. Get it nice and...